out of Fort Collins now. A caregiver says her former boss stole her identity and cashed her checks. But that boss, a realtor, says the caregiver is trying to blackmail her. Denver 7 reporter Lance Hernandez talking to both sides. Police have been called many times and now the courts are involved. Don Johns said she was hired last October to take care of the realtor's disabled daughter in this house. She said everything was fine until February when she tried to get her W-2 form. I learned that um, my information had been changed to her address and that there were current checks being issued for a lot more than I was ever paid. The realtor, Mimi Kaimakidis, said the agreement was that any money Johns made as a caregiver would go toward her daughter's care and in return, Johns would live at the house, expenses paid. That's a blatant lie. Johns said she'd never agree to that. Kaimakidis, who wouldn't go on camera, said Johns is unfit to be a caregiver. She said when she went to her daughter's house, there were drugs and homeless people all over the place. Johns says the only drug there was marijuana, which the realtor's adult daughter chose to smoke. I believe she's able to make her own decisions. Johns says the real reason for this dispute is that Kaimakidis is being investigated by Adult Protective Services. And when the realtor asked her what she told investigators, John said she couldn't discuss it. That's when she got this text. Don, you are no longer employed as a caregiver. You are terminated and have no rights. This is a convoluted case, but so far it is just civil in nature. In Fort Collins, Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.